Hey guys, this is one of those days where I hate having to do what I have to do. I got the forge set up, got the anvil, I could go ahead and forge some stuff today, but really, there's some stuff I've been putting off. Uh, earlier, I pointed out that the forge gets hot enough that there's a little bit of melting going on of the kale wool when I get it really, really hot. Okay, I ordered some Satanite, which is a coating that has an even higher rating than the kale wool. So what I'm going to do is I've got to take the, the mixing chamber and all that stuff off of this. I'm going to get the, the forge, line it with kale wool, and uh, hopefully it'll be even more efficient after I'm done with that. I ordered five pounds of Satanite from, uh, from a guy in Knoxville, Tennessee, and <clears throat> I'm going to mix it with water to a consistency sort of like oatmeal and then I'll you know you'll see the process of me lining the inside of the of the forge. I've got some more kale wool here and I think I'm gonna have to replace the stuff that has been kind of crushed and, and melted by what I've been doing so far. Okay I've discovered one other thing. As I replace the kale wool that lines the inside of this, this hole right here is three inches in diameter which is a lot bigger than the one inch diameter uh, actual outlet that I have so when I recut this I'm only going to make a one inch outlet right there. As it turns out my measurements are pretty fortunate. This is approximately eight inches across, twelve inches deep. The kale wool I have is twenty four inches long so really all I have to do is cut a one foot wide piece of this, roll it into a tube, stick it down in there, and it will fit. One thing I wanted to point out, uh, in its new state, this kale wool is pretty, uh, pretty cloth-like. However, it gets pretty friable, pretty flaky after it gets burnt. Um, so that's another reason why I want to put the uh, the Satanite coating on it. All right, got the new layer of kale wool in there with a much smaller opening for the gas air inlet. Now I'm going to mix up the Satanite. I want to make sure to bust up all the all the dry clots and I want it thick enough that it's going to stick but thin enough that I can brush it on the inside with this. I may have to mix up more than one batch to coat the inside of that and I am going to put on more than one coat. I'd like to ultimately get a coating of about oh, a quarter of an inch to three-eighths of an inch of this Satanite over the top of the uh, the kale wool. Right now, <clears throat> right now I'm just glopping this stuff on. I will go back and make it smooth in a little while. Alright, I've got the first coat of Satanite on here, and it looks like this is going to show up pretty nicely. I've coated the inside, uh, the back wall, all the way up around the gas inlet, and I've brought it all the way up to the edge, even out onto the metal a little bit, but that's, that's going to wear off. But anyway, um, the first coat is on. This is uh, probably not enough that I would want to rely on this alone. I am going to put on a second coat. What I have to do is let this air dry for a few hours, then I'll fire up the forge, uh, let it cook for just a, a few seconds, shut everything off, let it cool back down, and, and repeat that process several times until this is hard and dry. All right, I've done two heats for a short period of time, and now I'm really baking on that first layer of, of uh, Satanite. One thing I can tell already, 
ferocious hot spot I used to have, it's now much more diffuse, the, the scattering of the heat. So that's a good thing. I'm going to turn this off now, let it cool all the way down, and then put on another coat and, and uh, repeat the process. Okay. I've put the first coat on, I fired it, I put a second coat on, and I did the first short uh, duration firing. You can see, actually, there's still some damp spots. Uh, there's a little bit of scorching there in the bottom, but that actually goes away. It is cool, cool to touch on the inside, so I'm going to fire it again and then come back out here in a little while and do it a third time. It looks a whole lot hotter than it really it looks in real life. There it is, doing its final bake. Now again, on camera, this looks a hell of a lot hotter than it really is <clears throat> in, uh, in person. It's a light orangish yellow glow in person, uh, which means I can get it a lot hotter than it is right now. But now I've got the, the Satanite in there lining it. It's got a pretty, pretty even heat all through the whole forge. I'm still going to put a sacrificial fire brick on the bottom to keep from scraping the, uh, the, the clay coating on the inside, but I am glad I spent today doing this. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is cool. I've had the heat off. I've had the burner off for, uh, you can see the blower is not even on it. It's been off for at least 30 seconds now. And it is still smoking hot in there. That is doing a good job keeping that heat in.